George C. Gordon Library. Here on campus, it is a large resource because of the reference materials. But students and staff also think there are other reasons the library is important. Well, I think in general on college campuses, you can't get all the intellectual and cultural resources that you need during class, so the library is like a really great place to find those. Well, I definitely think that the library is here to provide resources, but also a space on campus for students to study and meet. And it's a great place to see your friends as well. And I like how we have different floors for either a quiet place or a group place to have group meetings and stuff, so that's cool. If you go back and look at some of the, the history of the library when, when Gordon Library first opened in 1967, the, the intention all along was that it would be a place especially for students. The Gordon Library building that we know today did not exist until 1966. Before then, it was housed in many different locations, Boynton Hall and Alden Hall to name a few. The WPI community finally started to see their library come together under one roof, and this allowed their library resources to start expanding in other ways. In the 1970s, they joined the Interlibrary Loan Service, which allows the Gordon Library to borrow books and other documents from libraries all over the world. At the time, they had a TV studio which had video production capabilities, a music room where students would go for their music classes, and also an AV room which held recorded lecture tapes for the students who would like to listen to their lectures again. In 1991, the Gordon Library online catalog officially replaced the old card catalog and eight computer terminals were installed to provide access to the online catalog. In 2001, the Anderson Instruction Labs opened and computers became a normal thing to see on everyone's desks. I think over the years since I've been here, it's creating more group collaborative space. In the beginning, um, when I first started here, like I said, almost 25 years ago, it was more about individual study spaces. Um, it was a very quiet place. It was your traditional sh library. Um, but over the years, we've added a lot of collaborative space, and I think that's been exciting to see because we've had more and more students come in every year the more space we open up. A big change on campus that changed the way the library is used is the WPI plan. This plan created a need for more collaboration space because of the new project-based curriculum. What is your favorite part of the library? Uh, I'd say tech suites because um, it's a nice way to just meet up with your groups and discuss what you have to discuss and figure out what you still have to do. And because WPI has a lot of group projects, I think that's very important. As we were trying to improve the spaces here to make more collaborative space, and as more technology was being incorporated across campus, we just realized there was a need to put those two together. And so our first tech suite was actually two tech suites in one room. So right now we have 11 tech suites. Our tech suites are used every day that the library is open. Our busiest times, I'd say, are between the hours of 1 to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, but they are definitely used throughout the day, every day. Um, in fact, they're, they're so well used that we track how often they're not, they cannot be used, how many times we have to turn people away. And I'd say over the last couple of years, um, the numbers have been something like 1,500 times we've had to tell people, I'm sorry, there's just not one available. How do you think they can be changed and adapted in the future? The tech suites, how can they be changed? I can't tell you that. I think I'd have to ask the students what they need because I'm really not sure what else is needed. Are they big enough? Are they, you know, are, are there other, uh, other technology that should be added? I don't know. I think I would leave that up to the students to tell us this is what we think a tech suite should have in it. What do you think the library could improve upon? Definitely the temperature problem in the tech suites because that's unbearable, um, especially on the bottom floor. I could probably use more tech suites or study spaces where groups can meet up. 
But unfortunately, we don't have really any more room to make additional spaces tech suites. So I think we may be unfortunately stuck at 11 for a while. As time goes on, the needs of WPI students and faculty keep changing. They're asking for newer technology, updated spaces, and revised operations. Well, I think on the weekends, it starts at what? It opens at 11 a.m. I think maybe 10 a.m. would be nice, ideally. We should have more entertainment resources, like more board games and videos and stuff like that. Sometimes it's really hard to like unwind at the school, so. Also, more places of group work on the other floors. I know this is one the main floor is, and part of the top floor, but at the same time, people get mad at you if you're talking. Yet some still have a need for a quiet space to study and a nice book. When it comes to reading material, I prefer a paper. Uh, my eyes get tired after eight hours on the computer at work. If I want to read something, I love a book. I love to hold a book, a newspaper, a magazine. It's easier on the eyes and it's just more comfortable for me. I think um, I think it's great that we have a lot of like books and DVDs, but I definitely think there could be a couple more like, popular reading books. And I like I really like the bean bags, and I think we should have more of those. We bring more to lunch books on reserve because we have none. Nevertheless, all of the changes in the library have been created because of the students' voices and the willingness of the library staff to listen. Our library, and I think many academic libraries, are. Not so much the traditional library, not so much a book repository where people went to access books and other print materials. It's much more about the resources, whether they're physical items on the shelves or whether they're electronic items, that electronic journals, ebooks, and databases, things like that, that people access. I love being in a place where I feel like I'm contributing to them in some small way as to their success here. I love meeting all the students from the various um, countries, learning about their cultures, um, seeing them succeed, being able to help them if they're having a problem maybe with their work here and they just need somebody to talk to. I think in the future the Gordon Library is going to continue to grow. More and more people use the building. More and more study spaces are always needed. I think over the next few years, we're going to see an increase in usage. That's just the way it's been. And we'll have to accommodate those needs with maybe more of whatever the students need. 